Hello world, Shelly here, and today I want to talk you through some of the sunscreens that I enjoy wearing under makeup. I have a bunch of sunscreen videos on my channel. These are not the only sunscreens that I like. However, these are the ones that live in my sunscreen drawer that I am using on a daily basis. These are the ones that I am wearing underneath foundations when I do reviews because I know that they perform well underneath makeup for me and they're unlikely to impact my foundation, therefore suitable for doing a review because you wouldn't want to use an unknown sunscreen and have it react and actually have the sunscreen be the cause of the problem in a foundation review. So these are all tried and trues, ones that I, I wear all the time. They live in my sunscreen drawer. The one I'm wearing today is from Elemis. This is actually a moisturizer slash SPF 30. Uh, it is their Pro Collagen Marine Cream, the day version, the SPF 30 version. They have a version of this at night without the SPF. They, it is heavily fragranced, but I do love the scent of Elemis products. I only buy these when they're on sale, and lately they've been showing up in Ipsy boxes, which makes me very, very happy because... <laughs> I love me some Elemis. So I like this one because it's super lightweight. It's almost like a water gel kind of a consistency. And even though it's still a cream, but it's a very lightweight cream. And so I especially like it when the weather gets warmer. I'm just going to take some off the lid here. Whoa, that's too much. But I just want to show you how, how easily it spreads. It's like a really thin consistency. It's not super thick which in the winter I tend to go for thicker sunscreen moisturizers that because my skin is so dry, but the, the other three quarters of the year, oh, look how nice my hand looks now. <laughs> it's a beautiful moisturizer. They are like the pros of the science of collagen in skincare. Uh, they're just, I love them. Bravo Elemis, that one I wear a lot. It's what I'm wearing today and I am also reviewing the Shiseido Revital Essence. So I wear it under my foundations when I'm reviewing them. All right, here's another one. This was reformulated a year or two ago after some drama, but I love how they handled that situation. I'm talking about Purito and the reformulation is just as good as their original. They had an issue where their SPF wasn't testing as high as it was stated on the package, but I'm down to here on this one. I am almost out of it. This is the Daily Go-To Sunscreen SPF 50 PA4+. You might notice there are very few sunscreens that I like to wear that are made in the United States because the US technology on sunscreen actives is so far behind the rest of the world. My preferences are European formulas and Korean formulas. Sorry, the U.S. is just way behind. It is what it is. And so this is a, I believe they're South Korean. Yep, made in Korea. And they make great sunscreens. They make a lot of good skincare. I, I actually enjoy a lot of their skincare. Uh, but the Daily Go-To Sunscreen is really good. You can also get it on Amazon. I usually get mine on Yes Style, but I've seen it on Amazon as well. And it's just really good. It works under makeup. It's SPF 50, which is what I prefer most of the year. I will go down to a 30 if I know I'm not going to be outside much, but I prefer 50 and I prefer Korean and European formulas. Let's do another, I believe this is a Korean formula as well. Yes, made in Korea. You guys told me that I need to try more from this brand. This is from Skin1004. I don't know how you're supposed to say that. 1004, 1004. I don't know. However you're supposed to say it. <laughs> this is the Centella, the Madagascar Centella water. I can barely read this. All right, Sherlock's coming out again. Water Fit, <laughs> the Hyaluseca Water Fit Sun Serum, SPF 50 plus PA4 plus. Oh, this is nice. Now, you know I love me some Centella Asiatica. That's your tiger grass. Rawr. <laughs> which, one of my favorite skincare ingredients, which is what made me buy this one. And I love it. It's a cream. I love pumps. Love, 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 love pumps. Don't want to have to dip my... That's one downside of the Elemis is you have to dip your grubby paws into it. I prefer pumps even to squeeze bottles. I'd rather have a pump. This is gonna be the most sun protected hand ever. But this one's a little bit thicker of a cream, but it's still not thick. 
but you see how it's it's more it's thicker it's just it's not quite a water type formula i didn't show you the perito did i this one's just a little thicker just a little thicker let me show you the the purito while we're here this one's also a cream about the same consistency actually as the centella so here's the purito well, maybe it's a little thinner i call it a little bit thinner just a smidge thinner yeah this hand is not getting sunburned today not at all not going to get into the ingredients in each one of these. This The whole point is that these all work wonderfully under makeup for me. They don't pill up. They don't affect the finish of my makeup. They're just, they're just good. I got three more for you. All right. European formula. This is the La Roche-Posay and Thelios UV Immune 450 plus SPF. It's also got a PA, but I can't read it. Mm, can't read it. UVA, UVB. I can't find it. I get this one when I go over to Ireland. Now, La Roche-Posay has formulas that it sells in the U.S. as well, but the sunscreen actives are different. That is why I usually don't buy the U.S. versions of them. And the reason that matters is the sunscreen actives let's take effectiveness out of the equation. Let's just talk about things that make people generally not want to wear sunscreen. It feels sticky. It feels greasy. It stings my eyes. It smells funny. The newer sunscreen actives don't have all of those problems. So just from a sheer standpoint of comfort and wearability, using the newer actives is probably going to be a nicer experience if you're one of the people that has those kinds of issues with sunscreen. And yeah, we're just behind, we're way behind. So that's why even if you buy the same exact like model of sunscreen, but in the US formula, it won't perform the same. It's probably gonna perform as good as possible because you know their name's on it and they're gonna want it to be a good performing product, but I, I just won't buy them. Love the pump. Let me show you what this one looks like. It is a cream. This one I can wear in the winter because it's just a little bit more heavy. Do you see how it's thicker? It's just a little bit of a... It's, do you see? Like, it's a. It's good for winter, thicker, a little less spreadability, but, like, that's kind of what I want in the winter. I want it to, like, lock in and help keep the moisture, what little moisture I've got in my skin and serve as a barrier. This one's almost a dry finish. Like I, I really like the finish under makeup. It's the kind of a dry finish that also feels nice as a primer. So if you wanted to go in and use this as like last step of your skincare, but double as a makeup primer, like it's, it's that nice, good dry finish that clings to foundation really good in a good way, not a bad way, like sets foundation really nicely. I haven't used the US one, so I can't speak directly to it, but I prefer the European formulas. All right, I got two more. That was three. Why did I do that? I don't know. Also a European formula. Now, recently number seven released a US version of this. It took them a while. Now I got this in Ireland over the summer in June of 2023, and I have one more jar of it left. This one's almost empty. It's almost gone. I'm in the Just means I gotta go back to Ireland, right? This is the Future Renew line, and they've got this whole new active called Peptycology, which is the first and only thing in my life, and I'm on prescription tretinoin for my skin, that has started to minimize my three deeper forehead lines. I'm I'm all in with the peptidology. <laughs> so the whole idea behind it is it's, it's a peptide complex that helps to reverse some of the visible signs of aging. And that's the first place I saw it was on my forehead lines. Anyway, this is the sunscreen version. It's an SPF 40 day cream with the peptidology complex for skincare, moisturizer purposes. I can use this winter or summer. It is lightweight enough for the summer, but thick enough for the winter for me. This is the one I'm almost always wearing. It's more of a, it's a lightweight cream. You do have to massage it a bit to get the white cast to go away. It's not a white cast, but it's just, it's, it's 
not a super emollient formula, so it does take a little bit of time for it to soak into the skin. It doesn't absorb super quickly, but I like that because it's kind of like the La Roche-Posay. It's, it's giving you a nice barrier, which is gonna help keep your moisture in and work really nicely as a makeup primer or as the last step before you go in with your makeup which is how I wear it. This is always the last step of my son's, of my skincare in the morning. And then I don't apply my makeup till at least 20 minutes later. I give my sunscreen time to set down and then I apply my makeup. I love this stuff. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I wish I didn't have to put my grubby paws in a jar. I would love if it was in a pump, but this whole line is amazing. My my must-haves are this and the Pepticology, the Future Renew Serum, which is a silicone serum, so I use it as the final serum in my morning skincare. I use it at night, too, on the nights that I'm not doing tretinoin, although I've been increasing my tretinoin, so I don't use it as night, at, use the Pepticology at night as much. Anyway, I have a bonus one for you. This one I've only started testing in the past couple months. Maybe I'm three months in, it's a hot alabo, and it's working really well. It's another one. The texture of it reminds me of the Elemis, where it's kind of like a water cream. And I'll show you the jar in a minute. I realize I just skipped it. But you see how it's like super liquidy, like a water-based, so it absorbs into the skin quickly. Now, it's been wearing just fine under makeup for me. My only statement on that is that I haven't had as much experience with this one as the others I've talked about, but it has been working wonderfully. And this one is an uh, SPF 50, 50 plus with a PA 4 plus as well. Hada Labo makes some amazing skincare and you can get them on Yes Style. I think you can also get them on Amazon. All of the writing, I can't read because it's not in English. I don't remember the name of this. I'll link it down below though, and then you can check it out if you are so inclined. I do have a code with Yes Style. I don't remember if it's, I think it's 5% off. I'm not sure, it's Yes, G-O-O-W, or if you just, you, I, always, I always put the link to Yes Style stuff the one that already embeds the discount code, so it should automatically give that to you no matter what. Uh, but if it doesn't, put the code in and check out and get your discount. So there you have it. Those are the sunscreens that I primarily wear under my makeup, even when I am testing foundations, because they work, they don't interrupt my foundation application, they don't pill up, they don't change the finish, they don't alter the texture of my face in any way that would change the results of a foundation. They don't make my foundations oxidize. They're, they're that good that I can trust them under a review to know that they are not going to cause an impact in the performance of the foundation. So those are my top ones. They're not the only ones that I like. If you want to see more, check for other sunscreen videos that I've got. I have a bunch of sunscreen videos on my channel. I actually have the drawer clean out, which left me with just these in my sunscreen drawer because I wanted to get rid of all my expired sunscreens. I don't take any chances with that. It's the most important skincare ingredient you can use. It's the most important thing you can do daily to prevent damage to your skin, not just to prevent cancer, but the signs of aging because your UVA and your UVB, your UVB is your cancer causing, your UVA, not that they can't cause cancer, but they're more known for causing signs of aging, collagen breakdown, skin elasticity issues, sunspots, hyperpigmentation, etc. So there you have it, my favorite sunscreens. What are your favorites? What do I need to check out? What am I missing? Let me know down below, especially if there's something made in the US that I really should be taking a look at. I'm now heavily biased away from US sunscreens, so I don't even bother trying them anymore. So <laughs> if, if there's something you really think I need to check out, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over skincare with me today. Hit me up over on Patreon. I post some behind the scenes stuff over there too, and on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. 
as always, I appreciate your time, and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye. Thank you.